modern times, food is conveniently accessible and doesn't require much thought. But for our ancestors, food was at the forefront of their activities each and every day. Their whole life was built around food and shelter and clothing. Mm -hmm. uh, and your whole day was, uh, was involved in eating, but preparing the food and planting the food and preserving the food without uh, refrigeration and, how to, and, and making sure that you were able to feed your animals because without your animals you didn't have the uh, domesticated animals that you needed to plow and take care of your own garden. So your whole life was driven with the realization of, of the priority of, of food. Another thing about food um, is this idea of recycling. You know, they didn't waste anything, so whatever that potato you peeled uh, or those corn shucks might have went back in the garden to help fer fertilize that gown. And also, the leftover extras would go, you throw to your chickens or you could, your pigs. Nothing was wasted, and that's the beauty of the whole pioneer life. The whole year's calendar was driven by the need to plant and to cultivate and to harvest and to preserve your food. Uh, and your whole, your whole life as a husband and wife and your children was, uh, was guided by uh, those cycles, the times of the year, what you did in the winter and what you did in the fall and spring and summer, were all uh, when you gathered nuts and when you went for berries and all of those things in addition to the planting of your food and harvesting it, you realize uh, an apple is just kind of almost a little snack for us. Uh, but they peel thousands of them and they planted apple orchards because they got their apples and dried apples and, and applesauce and, and apple uh, uh, butter and, and, cobbler. and cobblers. So your whole life was driven with the priority of of food.